Hello, I'm Brave Dave, and after spending all day on Snowdon in this amazing sunshine, I've now driven 10 miles round to Triven, which is just there. You can't really see it because it's so steep. I want to see how fast I can time Triven. 12 minutes past five. Probably should do a few stretches. Oh, a little bit stiff after all this walking around Snowdon. Just looked in the mirror before. I've really caught the sun today. I actually brought sun cream as well. I just put it on. Didn't think about it. Idiot. Here is the beginning. Let's get to Adam and Eve before sunset. Starting the watch right now. You start a hill run. You start off really breathing hard as your body kind of gets into it. I've only been going two minutes. Body temperature is kind of equalizing now. I'm sweating loads. Nice cool breeze and out the sun. Triven is very much a pick your own route kind of mountain. If you look on the map, it's just a dotted line going straight up. In real life, it's loads and loads of zigzags. Some different zigzags. Things keep going up. That's the cane every now and then. You know you're doing it right. Because of its shape, mountain of false summits. So whenever you think, oh yeah, that looks like the top, it's not. Not for a while yet. That happened several times as well. Hello, hello. This looks familiar. Just under 29 minutes to get to the cannon. Guess I've got to climb it. Doesn't count doing driven unless you climb the cannon. Jobs are good in. Cars all the way down there. Oh yeah. Look at that. 39 minutes. This looks like the pinnacles on Snowden, but on steroids. Ravine, but <clears throat> I know it's the right ravine because of this badass rock jammed between like that. <laughs> Powering up Triven. Just met a guy who knows who I am, so that's kind of cool. How you doing? Right. Awesome. I'm just powering up to the top as fast as I can and then seeing what time I get. And then, well, yeah, it's alright. Always got time for a fast. <laughs> it's so funny just meeting people randomly sometimes. But. What's your name? Tom. Nice to meet you, Tom. And uh, safe getting down there. Just past those guys that have been climbing. 
past them and then one of them is silhouetted against the sun he just goes Dave I couldn't see who it was because I thought maybe it's someone I know but he goes oh no you don't know me I recognize you from YouTube right? oh wicked <laughs> Tom from the interweb okay things are slowing down a bit now because so much packed ice There's the top, the last 100 metres. These trail shoes are not designed for ice in any kind of way. That's what we like, a nice dry rock. Come on. Oh yes. Would you Adam and Evic? Oh shit. Don't fall now, Dave. Oh. 53 minutes. And one second, it's seven minutes past six, sunset's in half an hour. I am not going to hang around here for the sunset. I need to get as far down as I can in the light, especially that bit with all the ice. Right, for all time's sake, if I, if I slip now, it'll be the stupidest thing. Uh, oh, it feels so crap. It's just a big step, why is it so scary? <sighs> Don't even think about it. <sighs> that was not a heroic jump at all. Right, now I've really done Triven. Jump between Adam and Eve, climb the cannon. <sighs> and I met a fan called Tom. What a great run. <laughs> Glitterfuck, Glitterbauer. Which one's that? I can't remember. This is the halfway point at the Welsh 3000. This is Eve, back to Adam. I thought to myself, that's really the other great thing. Those guys are the last people coming down. Because no one wants to be up here in the dark. Especially me. Just, uh, body. Do a little 360. A very careful 360. Flipping over and doing in my ankles or my brain. 12 minutes past six, let's head down. I'm timing it, but I'm not racing. This is the sort of place where I get lost. It's a long here, isn't it? I cannot be too careful on these ice bits. I think they're my footprints. <laughs> yep, they are. <laughs> uh, what? This isn't right. Oh, maybe it's down here. <sighs> this is where I end up following a set of footprints that aren't actually mine and just lead me to some obscure rock face and then the sun goes down Okay, I just want to say, if you're not super familiar with Triven, and I'm not, this is only my fourth time up, you definitely don't want to be up here in low visibility at night or in mist or really bad weather because it is not obvious which way to come down. And 
you don't want to start wandering off somewhere like that in the dark and then find yourself on cliffs like that that lead nowhere. You don't want that. Can I hear someone's voice? Some climbers over there. I hear them shouting. They sound well loud. Having just said that about getting lost and stuff, am I actually on the right side? I can't see the lake at all actually, shit. This is unnerving this. I've got to be well around there. <laughs> all that talking about getting lost and I've actually gone the wrong way. I'm going to go down here, off piste. This should be fun. Whew, back on the right side, whoops. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, watch out on Trevor, because you're looking at the ground, concentrating on that, you look up and you think, hang on, where's the road, where's the lake? I'm on the wrong side, just wandering off into nothingness. I hope to get further down in time to see the sky at its best. Nearly 25 minutes of rushing down and I'm still that far from the road. That's how high I am. Trifon is a monster. A merciless a jagged monster. Well I've got to say, it's much easier going down than it was going up. Oh he says as he slips. There's a Ken, we like Kens. No sunset for Brave Dave tonight, but that's all right. As long as I get down safely, I can see a sunset any other night. Priorities. Live to see another day. We're approaching a family of goats. Hey man. Well, they're a bit more suited for the mountain than I am, so I need to get out of here. Maybe the voices I heard before, that I thought were climbers, were actually goats, because they do sound very human. That would make more sense, because why would climbers still be out at this time, all the way up the mountain, as it gets dark? Bloody oh, hell, there's loads of them. They look quite young as well. Closing in on the final bit. Whoa! Feels like ages ago I was on these steps. In fact, it was less than two hours. Four minutes, 45 seconds. Oh. Look at the pink sky. Right, this is where I find out I left my car keys at the top of Triven. Well, that was a successful run, wasn't it? Triven, everybody. Like I said before, don't do it in the dark, unless you really, really know it well. Oh, my Innovates did an excellent job. Although for the price I paid for them, they damn well should do an excellent job. They should also fly how much they cost. Oh. <sighs> All right, it's seven o'clock. Got to work out what I'm doing. Do I sleep in the car? Or do I drive three and a half hours to my parents? Because I'm seeing my parents because it's Mother's Day on Sunday, tomorrow. I shall decide, but you needn't worry because it's not very interesting. Hey, I've just driven down the road to the visitor centre. But there is Triven. It took 53 minutes to get stopped. In fact, you can see some headlamp up there. And I hope that anyone who's on there right now stays safe. Oh, 